Hey guys, it has been a really, 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 really long time since I've uploaded a video on YouTube. And I, I kind of like forgot about the YouTube channel that was made with my mom's account. It's like I remembered it like today and I decided to come back to it with another Who Would Win book. So this is the most recent one that came out, Who Would Win, Coyote vs. Dingo. Like, he's coming out for a new one in October called Ultimate Small Shark Rumble. But, without further ado, let's get into this new book. Alright, let's see here. Coyote versus Dingo. Alright, so... Should I read the whole thing or should I just do a picture read? No, let's read it. What would happen if a coyote and a dingo met each other? What if they were both hungry. What if they had a fight? Which one do you think would win? I mean, they're both the same size, right? I'm gonna say coyote. All right, meet the coyote. Scientific name, Canis Latrons. I don't really know those scientific names. I can't really pronounce them. A coyote is a four-legged mammal that looks like a dog. It is a dog, or is it a wolf? The truth is it's both. Dogs, coyotes, jackals, wolves, and foxes look similar from afar. Coyotes are famous for their howl. Ow! That's what it sounds like. Alright, so there's a dog, a coyote, and a jackal. Alright, meet the dingo. Scientific name, Canis Dingo. The dingo is known as an apex predator from down under. It is the largest land predator in Australia. Looks the same size as my dog. Dingoes are similar to dogs, coyotes, jackals, wolves, and foxes. Animals in this group are called canines. All right, North America. The coyotes from North America. Coyotes are very adaptable. They live in all types of environments. Forests, savannas, prairies, brush, deserts, mountains, farmlands, suburbs, and even big cities. Okay, I guess we'll just skip the fun facts. Australia. The dingo's from Australia. The dingo lives... One of the dingo... Oh, yeah, I was right. Lives in a tough and rugged environment. Rugged environment. Australia has a mostly hot and dry climate. Right, let's see one second here. Scientists disagree. Is a dingo a wild dog? Or is it more of a wolf? Size. Here is a coyote next to a mastiff, the heaviest dog on earth. Coyotes are small. They are not as big as their reputations. They weigh about 35 pounds. All right, so there's a mastiff, 230 pounds, 30 inches, and a coyote, 35 pounds, which is two feet tall. All right, size so of the coyote. Here is a ding. Well, no, the dingo. Here is a dingo next to an Irish wolfhound. The tallest dog on earth. Let's see, so it's 36 inches tall, which is 3 feet. 180 pounds. Dingo, 44 pounds. 2 feet, so they're the same size. And they kid. So the coyote goes 40 miles an hour, and the <clears throat> dingo goes 37 miles an hour. Alright, describe. Not many wild animals are trained to be pets. The dog is the most domesticated pet on the earth. It is often called man's best friend. It is a woman's best friend, too. This border collie, a farm dog, is protecting a herd of sheep. All right, a dog. Dogs and other canines can be taught tasks and tricks. Dogs do not live as long as most mammals. That literally looks exactly like my dog. Hair or fur? Mammals have fur or hair. Some have long hair or fur. A coyote has short hair. There's a coyote's hair. Here's a dog with long hair. Oh, the Afghan hound. Oh. Hair or fur? A dingo also has short hair. Here is another dog with long hair. The co commandor. Dang, I was even see. Popular dog. Here are some popular dog breeds. All right, so here's the terrier. The Dalmatian, the Coley, the Chihuahua, the Cavalier, Cavalier, I don't know. 
bad at pronouncing animal names. Bulldog, Chow Chow, the Dachshund, <clears throat> Shepherd. All right, breeds. Here's some more, including some strange dog breeds. The Pointer, the Corgi. Now, who does not want a Corgi? They're like one of the cutest dogs out there, maybe even the cutest. The Pomeranian, the Maltese, the the Scunnaser. I don't. I am bad at smell uh, spelling names. I can't even say a single sentence right right now. All right, the Setter, the Root Weller. That's what we're looking dog anyway. Next page. The skeleton. This is a coyote skeleton. It looks exactly like a typical mammal. It has a head, neck, body, ribs, and four legs. It also has a tail. So there's a spine, ribs, head, neck, and tail. Ligaments versus tendons. Wow, well, did I say that right? Yep. All right, ligaments connect bone to bone. Tendons connect bone to muscle. Cartilage covers the ends of bones, acting like paddling. So there's a bone, muscle, ligament, cartilage, tendon, and bone. All right, skeleton. Well, it's just the same thing there. This is what a dingo skeleton looks like. It is very similar to a coyote skeleton. A dingo can turn its head 180 degrees around. It could stand straight and look behind. Eggs, nah. High teeth. Notice the teeth in a coyote skull. Coyotes and other canines have meat-eating carnivore-type teeth. Their teeth are designed to hold animals, then crack bones, and cut meat and tendons. Tendons. Bone cracking. Meat and tendon cutters. Tail down. A coyote has a bushy tail. When it runs, its tail is down. Not out straight like most dogs. Alright, here's a skull for the ding the dingo. This is a dingo skull. Alright, upper jaw, canine teeth, lower jaw, carnassial teeth. Tail up. The dingo tail is bushy. The tail is up flying in the breeze. When the dingo is running. Alright, food. It was thought that coyotes killed cattle. Hogs and other big farm animals, like the horse, the cow, the sheep, the pig, the donkey, and the goat. We now know that coyotes mostly eat small animals like rats, mice, and rabbits. Alright, this is what the dingoes eat. Dingoes are the apex mammal predator in Australia. Watch out, wallabies, bunnies, koala, koalas, bandicoots. Numbat, numbats, and quolls. A dingo will eat you if you are a big kangaroo or wallaroo. A pack of dingoes will eat you. Well, that's just dark. <clears throat> Paws. This is a coyote footprint. This is a coyote paw. The big print behind the toes is a foot pad. The footprint toe count. See, so zebras one, cow two, sloth three, and hippo four, and elephant five. This is a dingo paw. This is a dingo footprint. Four toes in front and a foot pad. All right, and same thing. Oh, the human is five. Obviously. Ugly history. It is not the coyote's fault, but they have an ugly history. They used to live only out in the western area of North America. Coyotes got blamed by ranchers for missing livestock and poultry wanted coyotes Ooh, that blood hags now all right did the mice of wolves allow coyotes to move east into big cities such as boston new york philadelphia chicago atlanta and pittsburgh all right can there's canada united states and mexico all right, misunderstood. In Australia, dingoes were accused of killing thousands of sheep. They were also accused of killing cattle. The government of Australia has tried to wipe out dingo. They even built a 3,000-mile fence. There are dingoes on one side and no dingoes on the other side. So there's that.
Sneaky, who took the funny pages of Cody was seen riding a train in Portland, Oregon. When it was an Oregon, Oregon, I don't know. Crash, a coyote got hit by a car, but then hitched a ride 20 miles inside the grill and bumper. Reputation, lingo, the way different animals talk. Here's some dingo sign language. Bingo, a number matching game. Play that for a dingo drumming, which is Ringo. All right, here's the best part of the book, the fight. All right, it is time for the fight. The coyote tries to trick the dingo. It enters a hollow log and throws up. The smell attracts the dingo to battle, but the coyote left the area and is hiding in some bushes. There's the throw up. The dingo's not happy. He goes looking for the coyote. The coyote then sneaks back and hides in the log. The dingo does not see him. Where is that coyote? Come out and fight. After a while, the dingo follows the scent. He is now face to face with the coyote. The coyote outsmarted himself. He is stuck in the log. He can't back up. The coyote has to confront the dingo. The coyote can't escape. The dingo opens his mouth and bites the coyote in the jaw. Crunch, ouch. The coyote has a cut tongue, sore mouth, and broken teeth. Dang. He can't fight back. The dingo blocks the opening. The dingo gives the coyote a few more bites. The ferocious dingo wins and walks away. I would say that coyote should have won. All right. <clears throat> like and subscribe if you want to see me make the grimace shake at home. And I'm going to try it and see if the TikTok trend is actually true. All right. Bye.